Today marked the third day of witness testimony in the trial of Othel Wallace. Wallace is accused of shooting police officer Jason Rayner in June of 2021. Jurors heard from the medical examiner today. West News Haley Crumbleholm has been in the courtroom throughout that testimony and a warning. Some of the details in this story may be difficult to listen to. The medical examiner that performed Officer Jason Rayner's autopsy testified today. Now, the people that seem to be the closest to Officer Rayner have occupied the front row of the court throughout testimony, but they left the courtroom before she testified. Is there any doubt in your mind, Doc, that Officer Rayner died from the gunshot wound that was inflicted on him by the defendant on June 23rd, 2021? Absolutely not. Marianne Ripple, the Volusia County medical examiner that performed the autopsy on Officer Jason Rayner, testified in court Wednesday. Both the state and the defense asked multiple questions about how far away the gun could have been when the shot that killed Officer Rayner was fired. I can't honestly tell distance, but I don't, I don't, it, what, the external features of that scar are not consistent with a hard contact on shot. With a hard contact, you mean actually placing the muzzle to the head? Yeah, hard and pushing, yeah. The defense also asked questions seeming to try to keep self-defense from being ruled out. Would you agree that uh, there's nothing about any of the complications, whether it be bleeding or liver issues, uh, that shed any light on positioning of Mr. Wallace and Mr. Rayner at the time of the shot? Just, yeah, absolutely, you can't tell position based on the complications and went on to confirm that distance of the gun when it was fired couldn't be determined. You can't necessarily say it was uh, six inches, 12 inches, two feet, four feet. Nope, I cannot tell the distance of that gun. And is there anything in terms of the uh, medical analysis that you performed that would uh, disprove a claim of self-defense in this case? nothing to do with what I do. Attorneys for the state say they have one last witness to present tomorrow morning, and the judge says tomorrow he'll be asking Wallace if he plans to testify. We'll have the latest tomorrow on West 2 at noon. In Clay County, Haley Crumble Home, West 2 News.